In 1480, Moscow's army led by Ivan III faced off against the Mongols across the banks of the Ugra River. But the Muscovites, armed with guns, were too much for the Mongol army. When the Mongols realized reinforcements weren't coming, they retreated. Now Ivan III was free to pursue his ambitions to expand Moscow even further. Despite the rapid rise of Moscow, it was still a vassal of the Mongol Empire. But after the stand at the Ugra River, Ivan III's ongoing refusal to pay tribute antagonized the Mongols. Yet, retribution never came. Cracks had developed in the highest levels of Mongol rule, and the Golden Horde shattered into smaller carnates, beset by infighting. So Moscow was left free to expand. Ivan III continued taking control of smaller Rus principalities by any means necessary. Some had been ruled for over 100 years by an historic enemy, Lithuania. Ivan III was determined to take them back. By 1500, he had turned Moscow into more than just a city or a state. It was an entity that he claimed represented all the Rus people. Ivan's successor, Vasily III, would fight to take back the lands from Lithuania that he believed belonged to Moscow. Stop, stop, stop. 